Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Lil Smurdy. So in this video, I'm quickly gonna talk about some of the potions and consumables that will help you a lot in both mana usage, DPS wise, and just surviving in phase two. Let's start off with the basic weapon enchant. So for the weapon enchants, you have the lesser wizard oil. So this is an oil you put on your weapon over your normal enchant. So you can use your dismantle, which is the best uh, weapon enchant for Gnomorgon because it makes you do more damage versus mechanical creatures. So we have the less wizard oil that you can use even if you have a normal enchant on it. And then you should of course use greater mana potions. They are quite expensive, they're like 60 to 80 silver each on my server. But if you really want to go all out, if you want to do a lot of damage, if you want to have really good mana control, you need to have greater mana potions. Then of course if you're a mage, you need to use the mana gem as well. So on each fight you use both the mana gem and the mana potion. Then if you want to have more HP or basically survive more, it's not really needed, but there is the elixir fortitude and the mighty trolls blood potion. Gives you max HP and this regenerates HP every five seconds for an hour. Not needed, but you might as well if you want to go all out. And then of course you have free action potion which we also call FAP. It's really good on some bosses, such as the last boss in second phase to get rid of the frost debuff, etc. So if you want to use that, it's really good to have. Then you have nature protection potion. Not really as needed anymore, but still good if you're facing bosses that does nature damage. And then we have the smoked sagefish. So this is the mana food we're using. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a mana food that is that gives you five or six mana for five seconds instead of three. Then you have elixir of firepower. If you're a, a fire mage, of course, or any class, a warlock that uses fire spells, destruction, etc., increases your spell fire damage by up to ten for 30 minutes, really good, a bit of extra damage. Then you have the Lex Lesser Arcane Elixir, increases all spell damage by up to 14, really good for all casters. And then of course we have the Mage Scrolls. So this is of course Mage only, but you have the three different scrolls here. So either you have 1% uh, crit or 1% hit and 8 mana per 5 seconds. These all last for 30 minutes. So basically if you need crit, you go with this one. If you need hit, you should go with this one. Currently, I'm using the crit one because I don't really need the hit and I, I feel like I do more damage if I use the crit scroll instead of hit. And I have the mana per 5 seconds scroll as well. Because you can't combine these two but you can combine these two and these two. So you should always use Scroll of Arcane Recovery. On a basic boss fight, on every raid I do, I use this, 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 and this. Basically all of these I am using on every boss fight. So yeah guys, that's all up for this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have any further questions. And as always, thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.